All right, Billy, should I go Chevy Silverado or Chevy Equinox? I mean, the Silverado has a multiflex tailgate, but the Equinox has over 60 cubic feet of cargo space. Both pretty stylish. Well, either way, visit your local New England Chevy dealer today. I'm Chris Moon, President and Chief Operating Officer of the James Beard Foundation, and really thrilled to be here at Fenway Park this evening. It's been absolutely incredible to join together the James Beard Foundation in partnership with Marquee Development and to come to iconic venues across the country. Our mantra is good food for good, and we really think about operating at the intersection of where good food and enjoyment of food and gastronomy, where that intersects with our work as a nonprofit to create a better food world, to really create a culture in the independent restaurant industry where everybody can thrive, and it is an ecosystem where everybody has the opportunity to advance. We actually just opened our new home in New York City. It's called Platform by JBF. Uh, and we're bringing in chefs who are the next generation, pushing the industry forward, who are trying to address some of the challenges of the independent restaurant industry, and all the while making incredible, delicious food that is a part of our American food culture. So lots going on. It's a really exciting time. Our buddy Chef Foster of Woods Hill Pier 4 is with us today. So I got to ask, you grew up in Foxboro. You are a Massachusetts kid. But what does it mean to you to be inside Fenway Park with a brand like the James Beard Foundation cooking tonight? Through a long road going all around uh, Europe and here and coming back home, to be back in Fenway uh, in this professional sense associated with James Beard, it's, it's amazing. It, it means a lot to me. So as a chef who's been in the business for so long, talk about the importance of this organization. I mean, when you're a young cook and you're looking for inspiration about where you want to go, the path towards being the best, towards greatness, that kind of recognition, it's always James Beard. Mm. And so, you know, I cooked at the original James Beard house as a line cook a couple of times, and we hosted dinner at Pier 4 two years ago. When you're a chef, you're, you're in a bubble sometimes. You know, you're yes. just in your day-to-day, -day, you're working so hard, you're so busy, and to know that you're part of a greater community that shares some of the same values and is striving for the same path towards perfection, it, mean, it means a ton. Oh, so great, chef. All right, so what are you serving tonight? I did crispy lamb ribs with puffed rice and an Urfa red wine gastrique, and I did some oysters, some cutty hunk oysters in escabeche, which is like a light pickle, mm. with a guanciale and sun-dried tomato vinaigrette and sea beans, which is oh really Oh, God. Cool. What's up here for? If you haven't been there, you got to. Chef, it's so good to see you as always. You Thank as well. you for being here. Thank you.